Hello and welcome to Loadout for the PS4. Out this week, um, the 20th of December. It's a port of the uh, PC version, and it's a fun little third-person shooter. It, it's a uh, you know, it has its microtransactions, all that stuff, but it's not that offensive. So before we get into the game, um, I'll show you some stuff around. Just navigate through here. We got uh, ranked games that are still not in. I played PC version when it came out. It was it was fun. It just felt like the uh, the modes were not that fun. So now they got a campaign. It's um, you versus bots, so it's not that bad. Um, there's arena, which is your typical shooter, and it's all it, you can't choose. It's you know a random playlist type of thing. I just want to play the TDM or Capture the Flag or Domination. There's no hey, you can play this only. Play Capture the Flag only, or play that. It's it's stupid, but it's um it's not bad. It's not offensive. Um, Another problem I have with this version is there's no control settings, unless I'm missing something, but it's just... You could change the field of view, but that's pretty much it, like... And it's really slow, it's like, I... I'm, I'm hitting the left stick, like... It's not a smooth thing, it, it feels like a really sloppy port. Um, but yeah, it's... Let's change that, I always have the field, field of view maxed out. Um... But yeah, it's, it's, it seems really weird that they don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh... No, I don't like Ken Bob. Tutorial's off. Profanity, nudity, and gore. Yes, keep that. It's it's not offensive, it's just, it's comic. Um, credits, and then, um... Here's a store, but you just buy, um, Space Bucks. They're literally called Space Bucks and Boosts and all that stuff. Guns, you can buy with Blutes, which are your in-game currency you, you do. It's not that offensive to level up. Um, you can also buy crates, just like in, um, like Dota or something. Um, let's see here, let's buy with Blutes. And it, it's gonna give you light item levels and all that stuff. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome with this UI stuff, so you can buy straight up parts from here, you know, for launchers, rifles, beam weapons, pulse rifles, and equipment. It's stupid that you can't, like, buy a, you know, a pyro, rare pyro, and it works on everything. It would be really nice if that did. Then you buy bombs, which are like keys. Uh, you buy this with real money. I can buy, you know, boosts. Oh, you can buy with blutes. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. Um, avatars, loadout, guns. Oh, one slot, three slots, blah, 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 blah. Such and such. Um, then, let's see. Let's how much. It, there seems to be only a few. Yeah, so it's it's not offensive, you know, five bucks for three thousand. Um, what else? What can you get for three thousand? It's a little bit. Eh. All the all the guns and stuff are not that much. I think the most expensive are the uh, it's five thousand, it's five hundred uh, for some stuff. That's the most I've ever seen. I think there's might be a six hundred one, but it's it's really stupid. Um, oh wow, you can actually buy a turret. Hmm. Interesting. And then the, the real focus of this game is um, is weapon crafting. It's actually very entertaining to, to make weapons. But a problem I have is with... Is, um, just test... Oh, wait, 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 nope, 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 nope. Is the way it... So, you, in this story, you could buy stuff with blue, Blutes, which is the in-game, the currency you earn, or Space Bucks, which is the currency you buy. And, uh, well... Right here, you, there's no way to buy that. Buy, hey, I want to, I want this trigger, but I want to buy it with space bucks, or buy it with blutes. There's no way to do it. It's very cumbersome. I don't know why they had this. Um, but in, I remember in, um, in um, the PC version, you can. It was a quick toggle. I don't know if it's now there, but maybe I'll do a video on the PC version. But it's, it's a little bit cumbersome. Um, that if they just like, hey, you could just give us money for this, but. Or you could just go, like, let's see here, customize, um, let's see, I want, you know, a, what do I want on here, let's see here, oh, I can get a scatter shot on here, oh, wait, 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 no, let it, scatter, huh, it's that, and, or if I want, you know, spooling up, I, I have to, like, you know, go, okay, um, it's back out of here, no, I actually did save it. I think no, I didn't. Go here, 
And, uh, you know, was that a, was that a beam or was that a rifle I was looking at? And then, you know, let's go down to here. It's just like, why can't I just buy it with blutes over here? Then I can buy it with blutes here. It's like, ugh. Very cumbersome. But it's, it's, they should just allow you to buy it from here. Um, it would be really nice. You can have four slots or you can just buy more, which is, eh, not that bad. Some of the testing's actually kind of cool. Like, uh. You can just test any gun without having to buy anything, so, you know, uh, let's see here, like, get a hexa, hexa barrel, then change it to a, um, a single shot, and then you can add, like, different properties, let's do it with a slug, and then let's make it, uh, you know, corkscrew, and then we'll make it, uh, rebounding, and then we'll have it a proxy, and then we'll have, uh, you know, explosion, and we can test that. Come on. The loading is a little bit long. But, like, yeah, so... So, it's, it, it, there's a lot of cool stuff. You can, you can experiment all day. It's, it's actually, some of this stuff is really cool. It's a really nice uh, testing field. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, the customization is really cool. It's just, like, I just don't want him to see... I'd rather see blutes here. Or I don't see any switch on the bottom to say, uh, why don't, why don't you, uh... Give me blutes instead. I don't want boots. So let's get out of here. And then, you know, the, the game, let's play one round. The campaign can get a little long, but there's there's tons of there's tons of missions. Um, you know, it's all level progression and a lot of stuff. You get a rewards. Um, you know, sometimes you can get some gold or space bucks. Some of these are locked. You know, five chapters. It's It's kind of a lot of content for free. Um, it's not bad. You can pay 20 bucks and I think they unlock it all or something. Your private matches is, you know, with your friends and then the arena. Play one game of these. Throw into a match. Uh, let's do domination. Uh, jackhammer is kind of like flag capture the flag, but you, but you get a hammer. You can do damage. Death Snatch is a, uh, like a, like a, um, kill confirmed. I think Blitz is also like a team deathmatch and Extraction is really stupid. You, uh, you have to pick up, um, pick up, uh, what do you call it, um, shit on the ground. It's really stupid. <sighs> There's no voting of maps, which is, again, kind of stupid. I don't, I think the, 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 the crossdown numbers are level? I don't know. There's no, you can't carry accounts because, uh, Across PC and Steam or PC and PS4, I don't think there's any uh, similarities to. I think this game doesn't seem to be. I don't know. Again, I'm recording at 30, but uh, I've played games at 60, like Battlefield at 60, and it's, you can see the difference. Maybe I don't. It should, this game shouldn't be that hard to put it at 60. There's not really. It's really you know soft art style. There's not a lot of high res mega textures. Just like solid colors. Fight. Sweet. Yeah, I, I love this rocket launcher with the fucking gnome. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, this is domination. Okay, so we can just cap our points. Jesus Christ, it's a long game, too. Now, you can get a healing gun. There's healing just like in the medic. But there's also, um, you know, things that can heal you up. You get two grenades. They don't regen, but you can pick up uh, other grenades later on. So we can just... The controls are cannot be rebound. I'm more of an L1, R1. This is tr L2, R2. You have unlimited ammo, which is kind of nice. I already capped it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Where the hell did that guy go? Point C, lost. Nice. Let's cap this again. It feels real nice. Um, the controls feel a little bit rough. I feel like uh, it can be a little bit tighter. It does feel like a real PC port. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It just it just feels a little.
This feels a little bit eh, cumbersome. Like, I love this flak. Like, this guy's not even shooting me. There's so much flak. And here's my other gun, you know, triangle to, uh... Like, you know, there's all sorts of points for, like, capturing and... and assisting and distracting and all sorts of other cool stuff. Jesus Christ, that guy hit me real hard. Yeah, you can, there's so many, there's so many possibilities to make in this game. Um, you know, the difference between the both. So there's different guns that really don't add much. Laser is a little bit weird. She's probably gone over with that, maybe. But it's like, you don't. The laser has a pool. And you can burn through that. Like, it's. At least with the, uh. At least with, uh. With, like, rocket launcher, uh, or, uh, you know, reloading. So you get unlimited spins. Come on, where'd you at? Your team is now halfway to victory. You can reload while spinning, which is real nice. Boy, I hit that guy real hard. Damn it. There we go. You can also pick up grenades, those are the yellow boxes. Oh shit. God damn it. Got him. Your team is dominating. Get some health. Let's see. Jesus Christ, there is... Oh, it's just two bytes. It seems like, even for a free-to-play game, not a lot of people playing this game. It's really weird. Uh, it's a little sad. Maybe it, it, it's... You don't require free-to-play... It doesn't require, um... Uh, require, uh... PSN Plus. I don't think so. But, uh... It, from my, what I've heard about, um... PlayStation Plus is... If a game's free, you don't need, uh... You don't need um, PlayStation Plus to play, which is like War Thunder, um, and uh, oh god, what is that game called? I already fucking forgot it. Warframe. They don't need a uh, need anything. Control point A is captured. Control. Games are a little bit longer. I wish it was not so long. Did I just kill myself? Oh my god. And the maps and designs are a little bit okay. They could be a little bit better. It seems like some of these... Di it's a 4v4 and it, the maps are really fucking big. For a 4v4. You know, it's eight players. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like on the PC, it, you need to have more than it's six at least. It's, it, gets, it gets really lonely. Shit. God damn it. Yeah, it just seems like this game is just a lot of like running around. Um, like, you really can't defend. Because you can get sworn by yourself. Like, defending two points with two people is really hard. Because you can... Four people could just run over you. Yeah, this is sad. It's like no... 
These are just bots that don't even shoot you. And yeah, the game's almost over. Go. The controls are a little bit sloppy, I feel like. It can be a little bit smoother, it's just like, it's, I feel like it's all over the place. Hey, victory. When you do, um, when you do the single player, you do get, like, a little bonus. And you get crates and all that stuff, but it's just... Like, again, there was literally a bot doing nothing. It was three, it was two on two. A little sad, a little sad. Mm, throws you back into the lobby, I think, yeah? And done. Yeah, it does. But I'm done with that. Let me just go back to the, um, weapon crafting thing. So like, no, not to test. God damn it! Come on, there we go. So you can heal people and all that stuff, which is really cool. But it's a, uh, you know, the different kind of guns. You got your launchers, your pulse. Your pulse is kind of like a slower rate of fire, higher damage, more accurate. But it's. It's, uh, it's really weird. I don't know. It shoots like little mines or something. You don't do anything more. The beam is kind of like a... Um... It's actually weak slug. Here we go. Um... The beam is kind of like a... It's... I don't know. It's kind of like that. And it just... You just... It's dead accurate like the thing in, uh, in Quake, but it's just like... Now I can't shoot. Like, it's stupid. It should be like... A pool or re reload, because you just run out of ammo. Uh, you could, you know, add cooling and all that stuff. You know, a heat sink makes it go faster, more damage. But I, as soon as you're done out of it, it's just... I don't know, I feel like it should be a reload or something. Um, having, a, like, a cap on it is just really stupid. It doesn't do more or anything. Here's a pulse. What does that? It's pretty accurate. Slow rate of fire. It's, it, um, but it has a little bit of extra things you can add, you know. You can make a bounce go slow or standard. Yeah, let's, there we go. Test. But, like, why would you be doing this? Like, the, the, the weird thing about the bounce is it doesn't work like real physics. Like, it bounces just, like, at a certain angle. Like, a bounce, like, why wouldn't I just be aiming at him? Like, I'm, it's not ricocheting back at him. It's really weird. But the best I've gun I've kind of, like, fucked around with is the, um... Oh, wow, it actually has laser-guided. Let's test this out. Huh, interesting. And uh, you could even hurt yourself, that's stupid. Uh, let's let's see here the uh, the rocket. That's what I like here. Like do some crazy shit with here. Some of the stocks, you know, remote control, laser guided optics, blah blah blah. Really not needed. They just include really not add much. And then there's all sorts of different like tubes that really don't make any sense. Like there's this, and then the cage. Just like why would you have this? It does less. I guess it is co would cost more. A shit ton of damage, you know. Semi-automatic. Slug. Oh, lightning, lightning and fire add like a extra effect where lightning will do a little bit of AOE damage while Pyro kind of puts a dot on it. Make it um, go super slow. You know, impact, proxy, cluster bomb. You get something like this. So cool. 
Or you can, you, you can even do servo or something. But again, it's costing a lot of money. Let's see here. You can just spend it all day, like, servo here. And then let's change it to a... Uh, get rid of that recon. To a hex. So you got, like... Shoots all of them at once. It would be really cool if it was spinned all at once instead of just shooting them. And then the healing one is uh, pretty cool. What is it? Uh, there we go. Oh, I, shit. I didn't do it. Uh, it would be nice if there was like some sort of touchpad interface that's kind of clumby. Clumby. Cl cumbersome. And you get over it also overheals the uh the the player, which is real nice. That's um that's loadout for the PS4. It's kind of a decent shooter. Nothing impressive, but nothing offensive. Um out now on the PS4, also on PC. Uh as always, thanks for watching, and uh you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.